it was a what is going on moment. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl V Coles, welcome back. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for rocking with me. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that red button down below and join my little YouTube family please. So today we're going to get into another foundation hunt. We're going to be testing the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. Let's just get started. Okay, so I purchased mine from Walmart. I got it for $9.98, but I've noticed that Walmart has a different price point because at Walmart is $9.98, but at Ulta it's $11.99. I looked it up for you guys just in case anybody kind of wanted to know the price difference. I went ahead and I purchased the last four darkest shades. I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately, buying four shades, right? Well, this only comes in, I believe, 14 shades. And so we already know they don't have a lot of color ranges. This is such a cool concept. I love the packaging. If, if you're someone that's going to be traveling a lot, tell me this isn't everything. Like this little tiny package, you could just throw it in your bag to go. You don't got to worry about it falling, anything breaking. Like I love packaging. Packaging for me, I love this. And I love the color scheme that they picked. So this is the Clean Fresh Foundation. It's vegan. It's made with coconut milk and aloe vera extract. And um, it's supposed to give you a dewy finish. We're going to try it for five to six hours. You guys know how I do. Um, and we'll just see how it wears. It's supposed to be a dewy finish. So I'm going to say this is more on the moisturizing side for a foundation. Um, I already told you guys it's 14 shades. That already lets you know that they're not going to provide a lot of shade ranges. I went ahead and I purchased the last four shades. I got the shade... Um, 610 which is rich deep 620 which is deep 630 which is deep dark and then I got the darker shade which was 640 there's only one shade that I didn't get which was shade 600 and that was shade rich that I just kind of felt was too light for me um, but they do have an option what I realized that they did was they created five shades within each category so I'm assuming they kind of combined their categories of rich and dark deep into one and they gave you five shades um, I got the last four that fall within that category let me go ahead and just do some swatches for you guys we'll see what the swatches look like how the colors are jumping from one to the other shade 610 rich deep shade 620 deep shade 630 deep dark Shade 640 dark. So this is what all of the shades look like swatched. So the jump in shade range between 620 and 630 is nuts because look right here. So this is your 620 and then this is your 630. It's insane. And then from 630 to 640, that's also insane. I feel like the jump between 610 and then 620 is not that bad. But there definitely could have been one shade in between here. And I kind of feel like there definitely could have been like two or three. No, I think there could have been two shades between here because the undertones are so different. And then for this one, there could have been two more shades in between there. For primer, I'm going to be using the Milk Grip Primer. So we're going to go in with 620 in the shade Deep. I kind of felt like this was a pretty decent match and I could probably make it work. So let's just see what it applies like. Oh, wow. This smells good, guys. It smells like cookies. Whoa. Why do I feel like it's being patchy? I feel like it's getting so patchy right here. Do you guys see that? I'm going to switch to a brush. I'm going to switch to a brush. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... It's being really patchy right here. I don't know if it's because of the primer that I used. Whoa. Why do I look like this? I actually have some place to go, guys. Like, I'm playing. Like, I don't have some place to go. Okay. I'm going to apply some more. I don't know if the primer, because the Milk Grip Primer has, like, a gripping effect. I'm just going to pat it in first, and then we'll see. When I swatched it, I felt like this was the right shade for me. This is a little light. Okay. You know what? I never do this because I don't like to mix. I hate mixing foundations, but we have to do this because I actually have to leave after this. I have some place to go. I'm going to put like a little bit of this right here, and we're just going to go ahead and mix it into my face because this is too light. And I'm nervous because the undertone for Rich Deep is a little red, but... At this point, it's necessary. 
Okay, I'm gonna just wipe some of the foundation off of the brush. And then we're gonna start blending this bad boy out. Like, I have some place to go and I was just gonna go with the foundation on my face cause you guys know I'll go out like this, but it still has to like look somewhat presentable for me to step outside. I look crazy. This, mm -mm. okay, we're gonna go in with my beauty blender. Lord, I look crazy. Wow, like these, like during the winter time, I get little dry patches. It's just, I live in New York, it happens. Look at how it's clinging to some of my little dry patches. Do you guys see that? This is what it's applying like, it's, I don't wanna talk about it right now. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go in with some powder, guys, because I'm screwed. And I've committed to wearing this for five to six hours, so no matter what, it's staying on my face. So, just powder me up. Honestly, whatever. Where is my, let me just spray my face down, guys. That helped a little bit. It's currently 426. I'm just gonna go on with this face because I don't know. I'm gonna just go on with this face, okay? I'll see you guys a little later. Wow. Guys, I look crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I actually wanna just start wiping this off, but I just want you guys to see what it looks like. I look insane. I went in with the shade deep in the number 620. I ended up putting a little bit of deep dark in the number 630 just to kind of make this work for me. It's horrible. As you guys can see, I look a hot mess. The primer I used was the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And um, I don't know if that's what made it look so like patchy, but I look a mess. So I want to just start wiping this off. I hate this foundation, by the way. I love packaging, but I absolutely hate this foundation. Shade range sucks. It's extremely light coverage. And I don't even care to try with a different primer to see if I would get a different result. I just absolutely hate this foundation. I've never... Do you guys see this? Like, it's nuts. It's nuts. And it's not like I would go for deep dark because it's too, too red for me. And then deep was just... I, too light so I don't have a shade in this foundation I need a shade in between to be my shade but I feel like even if they release a shade in between I would not buy it horrible I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe this up and and we'll just end this video guys hated it like I feel like foundation is supposed to enhance you and I um I'd rather just my bare skin than to wear this honestly Guys, I really walked around with this on. I had things to do and I really walked around with this. It's currently 1034. I didn't get a chance to do a midday check-in because I was out and about, but I'm a ride or die. I really did this for you guys. Like, walked around looking a hot mess because I couldn't stay in the house. I had to go. So, if anyone's wondering what wipes I'm using, I'm using the Neutrogena Makeup Removal Wipes. They're my favorite. I just think they're perfect to remove makeup. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I took all of that off. I just, I couldn't. I could not stare at myself looking like that. Um, so that about wraps it up for me. I will see you guys in my next upload. I hope this foundation hunt um, wear test was useful for you guys. Again, would I recommend it? The answer is no. Um, but if you want to try it out, if you feel like this is something that would work for your lifestyle, definitely go ahead for it. Uh, I'm just really not impressed. It's very light coverage. Keep that in mind. So again, like I said, this is definitely perfect for someone that's traveling or just for like the warmer weathers. But it's, if they have your shade, good luck. That's that. I've never had an experience with any foundation like that. Um, like when I swatched it, it looked like it was the right shade for me. But it was a what is going on moment. Yeah, I'm going to go wash my face. So I will see you guys in my next upload. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at underscore vcoles and on Instagram at vcoles. And as always, love first. Bye my lovies. See you next time. Peace.